Hello students, we all are familiar with the word pharmaceuticals. In our day-to-day -day life, we came across a number of pharmaceuticals company. Basically, pharmaceuticals company deals with the manufacturing of the medicine. The future of medicine lies in individual approaches and in building bridges between prevention, diagnosis and therapy. Here we will know about one of the renowned pharmaceutical company named Bayer. Bayer Healthcare Pharmaceuticals meets the challenges like prevention, diagnosis and therapy of a disease with proven successful products based on many decades of knowledge and experience. Bayer is a German chemical and pharmaceutical company. To give you a brief summary and make you more familiar with the company, let me tell you about the history of the company. The company was founded in 1863. Bayer, with its invention, has contributed much to improving people's and animals' life. Bayer was born in a time of change. Europe was in the throes of the Industrial Revolution. The mechanical loom was turning fabric into a commodity. Colored fabrics, though, were still a luxury reserved for the privileged. Rapid progress in chemistry subsequently enabled synthetic dye stuffs to be developed, colors which were cheaper, better, and brighter than the organic dyes used previously. Bayer, a chemicals merchant by profession, seized the opportunity and, together with dyer Johann Friedrich Westcott, developed new and better synthetic dye stuffs. The general partnership Friedrich Bayer & Company was born in Wuppertal in 1863. The company's first factory was the family kitchen, Soon, new manufacturing premises were opened, workers were hired, and overseas business started up in America. Branch offices in China, Japan, and India followed. Bayer grew relentlessly. Less than 20 years after the company had been set up, its workforce had already multiplied a hundredfold. The factory in the Eberfeld district of Wuppertal was bursting at the seams. The first patent was submitted in 1882, and research and development became ever more important. Under Carl Duisberg's management, a pace-setting scientific laboratory was set up. The pharmaceutical department was established in 1888. Venacetin was the first synthetic fever-lowering drug on the market, followed four years later by the insecticide anatonin. Aspirin, the drug of the century, arrived in 1899. At the turn of the century, Karl Duisburg was appointed member of the management board. He planned the new site in Leverkusen, the structures of which still exist today. The move to the new headquarters was completed in 1912. At that point, Bayer had some 10,000 employees and was active worldwide with 18 subsidiaries and manufacturing sites. In 1912, Bayer relocated its headquarter to Leverkusen. Following the First World War in 1925, the company became part of the IG Farban Nindustri AG Conglomerate. It was re-established as an independent company named Farban Fabrikant Bayer AG in 1951. The pace of change picked up significantly following Bayer's 125th anniversary in 1988. The company shifted its focus more towards its core activities, resulting in the sale of subsidiary Agfa in 1999. Zhou Jingyong from Gucheng in China is a vegetable grower one of the millions of small-scale farmers who help feed the world. Last fall, disease struck most of his plants, which was a serious threat to his family's livelihood. A bare product restored the plants to health. Earthquakes that cause buildings to collapse are a deadly threat in many parts of the world. In collaboration with Bayer Material Science, Professor Lothar Stempniewski from the University of Karlsruhe has developed an earthquake wallpaper which delays the collapse of buildings. 
Cardiovascular diseases impact the lives of patients and often also of their family members. They are among the most common causes of death worldwide. Bayer has developed an active substance with the potential to significantly improve the situation for many patients in this therapeutic area. In 2005, Bayer then spun off significant parts of its traditional chemicals business under the name Lansux. At the same time, the healthcare and agriculture businesses referred to as the life sciences were systematically expanded, especially with the acquisition of Adventus Crop Science 2001 and Searing AG Berlin, Germany 2006. Let's have a look on the top 10 products of the company in 2012. Betaferon, Betaseron for multiple sclerosis, Cogenet for hemophilia, Yax, Yaxmin, Yasminel as hormonal contraceptive pill, Nizalver for kidney and liver cancer, Mirana for hormonal intrauterine delivery system for contraception, Adalat in high blood pressure, Avilox in respiratory tract infection, Aspirin is used for cardio prevention heart attack, Glucobay in diabetics, Zeralto for venous and arterial thrombosis. Sales. Bayer has planned a series of events and projects worldwide throughout the year 2013. Company's future objective is to safeguard and boost the company's success, creating entrepreneurial value while also respecting social values. It has been decided to develop products now that will be of great social benefit in the future and are safe in both manufacture and application. This is the only way to generate sustainably profitable growth and secure company's future business success. 150 years of research for a better life. And our story continues. We are using our experience and new knowledge to work on the major challenges facing mankind in the future. If we can succeed in breeding more robust wheat varieties, we will be able to open up areas of land for wheat growing that currently cannot be effectively used for agriculture. This is the only way that we can meet the growing worldwide demand for wheat in the long term. We have discovered a unique process for putting the waste product CO2 to good use, in this case to manufacture plastics. Finding the right catalyst made this dream reaction possible. In the long term, we can cut back our use of petroleum by replacing it with CO2. This represents a tremendous advance in terms of sustainability and resource conservation. Cancer is still a very major challenge for the medical profession. Every time the disease is diagnosed, it is coupled with a very individual fate. We have already developed treatments for this scourge of mankind. However, we have not yet achieved the goal of conquering this disease. This is where biotechnology can help us. It opens up entirely new avenues for treating cancer, enabling us to improve life for everyone. Für ein besseres Leben für uns alle. Found 1,216 million. So, student, we went through the 150 successful years of Bayer Healthcare, a science for a better life. Goodbye and all the best.